Okay, so today we're gonna talk about Instagram. The gram, IG, Insta, all that. So I want to teach a little bit about creating a brand or branding yourself in a few simple steps. It's very easy. I did some freelance work over the past year or so working with brands in the area and beyond and created logo packages, branding for social media and did photography as well. So a lot of folks still reach out to me looking for help in creating this look and vibe that they're after and I think it's fairly simple to do and I don't think it takes um, a degree in graphic design or anything of that nature. So we're going to take a look at how to achieve the look that you're after, put your brand stamp on yourself and your page, and that can translate into a website and zines, books, all that and beyond. So what we're going to do is start first with looking at a color palette. And what this is is going to be about three to five colors that are hand selected that work in harmony and set the tone for what is now your new brand. So this can be achieved in a pretty easy process and I'm almost reluctant to share, but you can do it all from your phone and we're going to do it right now. So let's take a look and I'll show you how I've done this many times and you can follow along, do it yourself, I don't mind. So here we go. Okay, so step one. What we're gonna do is go into our app store and go ahead and download the Pantone Studio app, which I've already done. This app is awesome. It's free, but there is an elevated $4.99 version of the app. It's fantastic. Again, you will find yourself using this over and over, but it's a great starting point. You can also do a free trial for seven days if you choose to do that route as well. Then you can remove it, no big deal. So go ahead and download that and we'll stop there. The next thing we're gonna do is go into our personal Instagram feed. Um, and what I would encourage there is essentially looking for a spot within your feed that has the colors that you're after, or even just one image is fine, but you can use the entire feed and just take a simple screenshot. What we're gonna do is pull colors out of the feed that you already have. And the reason being is that this is already the style that you might not realize is there. So you can pull colors from that and use that into your branding color palette and that's just going to further enforce and enhance what you already have. Now you can also find another person's photograph and use theirs as well if you want to lean towards a new direction perhaps. But what I like to do is try and choose what I already have in place and then build on that. So that's what I've done and that's what you currently see here. But what we'll do is maybe pick one image or again we can screenshot you know a section from the feed. But I'm going to go ahead and take this one image here and snap. We got it. Next step, we'll go ahead and jump into Pantone Studio here. And as this loads, I'll show you a few different um, areas that the app is useful. Within colors, you do have all of the Pantone books that you can view. And what we're gonna do is look in images where it pulls from your images and then we can match colors within there. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. And you can see I've already done that. And these are just little eyedroppers that you can move around. Super simple place them where you want within the image and find the colors you want. And you can see up top those change in real time. And what you're doing is again, creating that color palette. And Pantone will produce five colors. So once you've found what you want, then you can go at the top here and export. Super simple. And the way this works is you can send to Creative Cloud. You can also send to Photoshop, so cool. You can just share. And then there's also save as a palette, which will save within the app. So what we're gonna do is actually just share and then when prompted, we're gonna pick which option we want. It has many different output options. And I'm gonna pick this guy right here and hit share. And then we're just gonna save the image. So boom, color palette done, that easy. Now you have your color palette saved on your phone. For the time being, let's press pause. This can be used in many different ways as far as making the logo now or also adding that into Instagram. You can use that same file and use that to use for your highlights, use for your avatar picture and many applications. But for now, this is a great stopping point. There will be a part two and so on for this video. But I hope that helps a little bit as far as showing you what you can do and how easily it is to achieve. So I hope you enjoyed it. Again, please leave a comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll be back next week with more on branding yourself.